This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to talk about finding the perfect armor for any situation. Let's get to it. So finding the right armor for whatever build you're going for can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes and I've done videos in the past where I've shown what the best armors are for any stat that you want to stack but maybe you want to mix stats or maybe you are playing with a bunch of the DLCs because I only cover the vanilla armors and you want to know what DLC armor would be best to use. Well, don't worry because I have you covered. Welcome to the armor lookup tool. So we have two tabs to take a look at here. We have the search and we have the refine. We're going to start off taking a look at the search. This may look a little wonky. That's because it's showing, well, it's connected to a database that shows like everything that's labeled an armor in the game. However, we only want to look for our armors. So the search is designed for when you're crafting an armor and you want to quickly see its stats. Now I know that there is a mod for that for PC users to put it in the panel so when you highlight it in the crafting panel it shows you its stats and all of its special abilities and all that stuff why that's not default in the game I have no idea but for all you console users out there I have this as a solution for you so let's say for example we want to see silent legion armor stats all we have to do as with all of my other spreadsheet tools you just interact with the green boxes don't touch anything else you'll break it. So we click the dark green box here and we type in silent and we hit enter and that's going to show us the first 10 armors that show up in the list here that have silent in the name. So we can see the base silent legion and we can see the light. Well, what if we want medium silent legion? We can just type in legion medium and hit enter because we know the naming format is silent legion than whatever it is and then the armor piece. So if you are only filtering out a specific set, so you can see here it's only five pieces, you're going to get this goobly glop like nonsense down here. Just ignore that. Spreadsheet does that. Don't know why. If this wasn't all white, you would see a ton of it, but I blocked most of it out. Anyway, I digress. From here, we can see the armor value, the armor type. It is medium, obviously, because we were searching for the Silent Legion medium. We can see the weight of each piece, the durability. These are base stats. These are not the stats that are edited by whatever armorer you have. So keep in mind base stats. So the base durability, which slot it applies to. So the slot is the place it goes. So for example, three is always going to be helmet. Chest piece is always going to be four. Gauntlets, always going to be five. Pants, always going to be six. Boots, always going to be seven. Then we can see the heat insulation, cold insulation values. These are the actual values. Then we can see the weapon agility damage. So here is the percentage value. So anything that shows point whatever of a number is going to be a percentage value in game. If it looks like this and the number comes before the decimal, that's a flat value. So just keep that in mind while you are looking at all this stuff. Then we can see the strength weapon damage, max HP. Now I combined the carry weight, concussive damage, and stamina stamina all into one row so that it wouldn't stretch all the way across and we can have it in one nice little window. There's not a lot of pieces with these stats on them so I was able to combine them into a single row. There are also no pieces where they have dual combinations of these so you'll never find a piece with stamina and carry weight on it. And then last but not least if it has follower damage follower damage is right here. So that's how you can quickly and easily look up the stats of any armor in the game. Now, what if you want to know the best armor with a specific stat on it? That's where the refine tab comes into play. So from the refine tab, we're going to start off with choosing the armor type. So whether it is a light armor, medium armor, or heavy armor, let's do heavy armor. So we select that, we give it a minute, and it's going to populate everything that's listed as heavy in the game. Once it starts doing this, that's the end of the line. You see all that this is nonsense. This is nothing. Once you see the hashtag ref exclamation, that's where you know the armor stops. So right here is our last piece of heavy armor. So we can go through and look at all the different things that are labeled heavy armor, even stuff that isn't anything that you can get a hold of in game. This is just random items that are in the bowels of the game. On this screen, we can see the armor value, type, weight, durability, heat insulation, cold insulation, agility weapon damage, strength weapon damage, max HP, carry concussive and stamina values, and follower damage. We can also sort by armor value and all of those other stats, sans the heat, sans the durability and stuff like that. So let's start off with with armor value, let's say we want everything that has at least 200 armor value. We can type in 200, 
hit enter. Anything you put in any of these boxes up here is going to be the number that you put and anything greater. So this is going to show us everything with 200 or more. Well, now we can see that, well, obviously we don't care about the horse saddles. We can see that there are armor pieces right here that have at least 400. So let's start filtering out 400. Now we can see these are the only pieces with 400 armor value on them. Let's take it down to 300 so we have a little bit more to work with here. Here we go. So this is everything 300 and more once again. We don't care about these horse saddles. We're gonna filter those out here in just a second. The next thing we wanna take a look at is, let's say we're looking for agility weapon damage. Well, we can look over here and quickly see that there are only two pieces with agility weapon damage, but we have a lot with strength. So let's skip over to strength and let's say we wanna see everything that is six. So we type in 0 0.06, hit enter, and that's going to show us everything that has a bonus of 6% strength weapon damage on it. We can filter even more with each of these stats if there was any piece with more of these stats on them, but there are not. So let's just delete that. Let's give us a little bit more to work with here. Let's go 200 as our base value for armor values. And let's see if there's anything with bonus follower damage. So bonus follower damage is a percent. And if we take a look right here, we can see that the Helm of Craxus actually has 40% bonus follower damage. Let's take a look and see if there's anything else that has that much. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look and see if there's anything that has at least 10% on it. We can go 0.1 and hit enter. It'll put in that last zero for us. And no, there is not. That is the only piece that has that much on it. Let's take a look and see if there's anything with 0.2 or higher. So we can see that everything here, aside from the helmet of Craxus, has 0.04, which is 4% bonus follower damage. So we can do the same thing with any of the other armors. We can bop on over here to medium, and this is the apparently the only piece with 200 or more armor value on it. Let's take that down to something a little bit more manageable. Let's go to 50 or above, and let's see what we got in the way of follower damage. So let's go 0.04 and see what we have. You can see now we have a little bit more of a variety because we can see the reinforced Skelos Cultus robe, hood, and skirt have 0 0.8 or 0 0.08, which is 8%. Now, carry concussive and stamina gets a little wonky, but it's not too bad. So for stamina, you're going to do a 10 or 5 or whatever 0 0.0. So that's going to filter pretty well. So if we do something like 5.0, hit enter, you can see where you got all the stuff here. Max stamina and carry are the only two that are going to get mixed because they are the only non-percentage numbers. However, if we want to filter out concussive damage, we're going to get more of a mix because 10 is obviously greater than 10%. So for example, you can see here we have some concussive damage that's uh, 0 0.10, which would be 10%. And you can see that it mixes in some of the other armor here. This is just a downside to trying to keep this a little bit cleaner. Like I said, I would have had to have created a separate row for each of these that would have scrolled over. And I really wanted it to fit in a nice little window like you see here. But it filters out a lot of the nonsense because we are seeing the concussive damage that is 10%. And you can see it right here. You can pick it out relatively easy among all of those whole numbers. And as I stated before, there isn't a lot of pieces from each of the different sets with a lot of these stats on them. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or pop over to the Discord. Link for that is in the description. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll put a link for this down below. It will be a link to my Kofi page, but once again, you don't have to pay for it. It's completely free. It's gonna come up. It's gonna ask you for your name and an email. You don't have to give it your actual name and email if you don't want to, if you don't already have a Kofi account and you don't have to put any type of monetary value in there. You can just put 0.0, .0 not pay anything and have at it. But if you would like to tip me for it, that would be absolutely fantastic and super appreciated because I did put a lot of work into this. This one was a rather difficult one to do. But once again, you don't have to. I realize times are hard. I hope you enjoy the tool nonetheless. And if you found this video helpful and informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and a notification bell so you can notify when I upload other videos. And if you would like to check out some of my other cool Conan tools, you can click one of the links on the screen 
right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.